Daily vlog number 121. I'm not intending to do a three minute theology today, but I did have something I wanted to mention, something that came up in our confirmation class this evening. We were talking to the kids about how we participate in oppression. And the kids weren't really sure as to how they themselves participate in uh, oppressing others. And so I brought up the illustration that, well, let's say you have a pair of shoes that you want. Shoes that will make you popular. Shoes that if you wore them, you would be the coolest kid in school. But that comes at a price. Because the company that makes those shoes makes them in factories that employ children. Nothing like child slavery to get a teen's attention. So on the one hand, you have the hot new shoes that'll make you an instant celebrity in school. But on the other hand, it comes at the cost of some nameless, faceless children slaving away in a sweatshop. It was the first time that these kids got a sense that what they purchase affects the lives of others around the world. That world right there. And as I was coming home, I had the thought that there are a lot of adults out there who also don't know how what they purchase affects the lives of others. So that's a question I wanted to pose to you gentle viewer. How much thought have you given to where your clothes, your shoes, your furniture, your food, your curtains on your house, or whatever else? How much thought have you given to where those things come from? And whether or not those companies that you buy them from employ fair trade practices? Or does it matter to you where your things come from and who's had a hand in putting it together for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about what companies treat their workers fairly and outsource their products to respectable companies that don't commit human rights violations, I'll put some links in the doobly-doo. And if you're looking for some American-made products, I'll put a couple of links to those as well. This has been Daily Vlog number 121. 244 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.